Hi, this is Bill. Bill is a Christian. Bill loves the Lord. Bill is concerned about the coronavirus. He's concerned about his friends and his family, but mostly he's concerned about himself. He's a little bit fearful that he might get the virus, and he has an underlying health condition that could put him at risk. And he's a little bit fearful that he might even die. This is Sue. Sue is also a Christian. Sue really doesn't care about the coronavirus. She thinks it's all overinflated. What she's concerned about is the government quarantine. She feels the government is infringing on her rights and coming against some constitutional rights that she doesn't want to lose. So Sue goes on social media and posts her opinions. Bill also sees those posts and he comes back and he posts concerns about his health and the coronavirus. The next thing you know, Bill, who's a Christian, and Sue, who's a Christian, are warring with each other on social media. Probably not the best thing to happen. This is the devil. He loves what Bill and Sue's doing. He loves the fact that two followers of Christ are fighting with each other on a public forum. The Bible says in Ephesians 6 that he's really the problem. It's not the coronavirus and it's not the government quarantine. The Bible says that we wrestle against spiritual forces of wickedness in heavenly places. Here is really where the problem comes from. He knows something that Bill and Sue don't know. And that is, is that he is introducing fear into both of their lives. You see, Bill and Sue have something really big in common. Bill fears the coronavirus and Sue fears the loss of individual rights. But the bottom line is, they're both responding out of fear. And they're both taking it to the public eyes on social media and fighting about it, putting a great big smile on his face. What really needs to happen is Bill and Sue need to go back to their faith in Christ and realize that number one, fear is wrong, no matter what it's placed in. Secondly, they need to know that the Bible tells them that they have to love one another. They have to respect one another. They have to honor one another, and they have to treat each other with civility and common respect. When they do that, they'll find out that they can agree to disagree and do it in a way that is honoring the scriptures, honoring their faith, and honoring the Lord. And everybody wins except this guy, and that's exactly the way it's supposed to work. Hey, if you like this, there's a couple of things you can do. Get a Bible and read the Gospel of John. Then you can pray. Just talk to God about your fears. And then when it's time and we're allowed to get back together, get into a good church. The other thing you can do is hit that share button and send this message downstream so more and more people can realize we shouldn't air our arguments on social media.